More than 100,000 doses of coronavirus vaccines have already arrived in San Diego. They are slowly making their way to health care workers and to nursing home residents. News 8's Brandon Lewis explains how they're being tracked to ensure the right people are being prioritized. Now, Stephen Marcello, the vaccines are tracked from the moment they roll off the assembly line until they arrive at storage sites like UC San Diego and then eventually end up in somebody's arm. It's not only a way to track the vaccine, but also a way to track any potential side effects. From the moment a vial of the coronavirus vaccine rolls down the assembly line, it's tracked through a massive database. Let's follow one vial until that dose ends up in someone's arm. Every vial of the vaccine is coded, tracked, and followed. So a vial produced by Pfizer in Michigan is monitored as it goes to Memphis and on to San Diego. Once it arrives at a storage site, like a hospital, a recipient's data is added to several databases. That keeps track of who's getting it, when they got it, and whether they received a second dose. It's a lengthy process designed to ensure the right people are getting vaccinated first, but it doesn't end there. Recipients are given a card from the CDC and encouraged to use the Be Safe app. Our local county also helps keep track of dosing data. We can uh, basically look at uh, individuals that have been uh, vaccinated. Providers, when they vaccinate, have to register that vaccination uh, uh, in our San Diego County Immunization Registry. So far, we've received more than 100,000 coronavirus doses, about 29,000 of Pfizer's and 73,000 of Moderna's. It's rolling out in batches to healthcare workers and nursing home residents to avoid big groups potentially having side effects at once, with the county tracking every one of those doses. We will be uh, rolling out uh, a process where we will be reporting and having that information on our uh, webpage that shows how uh, vaccinations are going in San Diego. So this process is a little bit more in depth than the flu vaccine, but it is very similar to what we went through during the hepatitis A and meningitis B outbreaks that the San Diego County Health Department has experienced, and that's what they are relying on to get through this process. They expect to wrap up the healthcare workers and nursing home residents in just about a month.